Hi, Aries. Welcome back. All right. Let's see what is going on in your energy. We're going to find out if you are dealing, okay, in any way, shape, or form, if you are dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, we are going to find out what is that person's intentions towards you, okay? So, and... Let's find out, okay? This could be in a romantic situation, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. I don't know if I should take this. I didn't even ask yet. I guess spirit already, okay. We have the Ten of Cups coming out in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse, okay. Let's see what we got. Seven of Coins, the Death in reverse, Four of Swords, and the King of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Oh, Aries. What is this? Okay, this is this person's intentions. This person's not happy about a situation. Mm -mm. It looks like this person's not happy that, that they cannot keep up with what you've got going on in your life. This person's upset because they don't have control or they don't have knowledge of what you got going on in your life. It looks like this person is having to let go of possibly toxic energy, toxic um, expectations possibly, okay? This person might be going through health, a health uh, problem, okay? Some kind of health problem going on with this person. Um, I want to say that this person is not. I want to say they're non-committal, okay. Especially with that one, it looks like this person's coming at you in a very non-committal way at this point. It looks like this person might want to just be friends for right now because this person's going through some some form of changes in their life, and they're trying to fight it. They don't want these changes. It seems like there's a part of them that feels like they're out of control and they don't have control over their stability. And it doesn't necessarily have to be money, okay? But it can be about money. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. So I, I feel like this person has a lot going on right now at this time. It seems like they have freed themselves from possibly... Or they possibly recently lost a happy home. And when I mean recently, this could be in the past 10 months, 8 months, you know, something like that. 7 months. Or maybe it could be even years, right? Or 4 years. Um, everybody, you know, grieves in their own way. So I'm, I'm thinking months, it could, this could be years, right? Uh, it doesn't look like this person is upset. Because they lost a happy home or they were what's happy. Maybe this person's going through a divorce because that's what it looks like. Or it was a stable relationship. So they've been in a stable relationship. And they're having a difficult time moving forward. I, I do see here that this person is free. They possibly have freed themselves from a... Uh, From a situation where they were stuck in their head about something. It does look like... Actually, that is a good sign, though, to tell you the truth. Because since they are getting out of their mind, in this bubble of being in their mind, it means that they are going to be more in the physical world. What I mean by that is this person might have... They might have spent a lot of time... Like stuck in their head about things. And now they're, it seems like they're ready to start taking some form of action. Start making choices. That's what it is. They're getting ready to start making choices. And letting go of things that no longer serve them. Letting go of tox things that were toxic in their life. Seems to be something on their to-do list that, that is uh, keeping them preoccupied. Now, it might be why they're non-committal at this time. Uh, Aries, it looks like your person is doing some form of shadow work, okay? 
That's what I want to say. I want to say this person is definitely working on themselves, doing their own shadow work. That's why they're non-committal because they're not ready for a relationship at this time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I do see here that this person is finally getting some sleep. Okay. Which means that they're resting, which is good because uh, that means they're releasing stress in their life. Okay. So that's a good thing, especially if they are in the process of doing their shadow work. And that's what I'm seeing here. This person is doing their shadow work. So let's find out about your energy. I just want to see what's going on with you real quick. Well, can we get some more information about Aries? Let's just keep it fair. Let's find out what's going on with you. Spirit, can we get some more information about Aries? All right. Let's see what you got, Aries. Okay. We have the double in reverse. The Ace of Wands, the Sun, and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So this is your intentions. I think you are, you know what you want here. Yeah. I feel like you know exactly what you want. You're not worried about speaking up. Okay. You're not worried about looking at the truths. And I, I say that with an S. You're not worried, uh, uh, or you're not you're not worried, and you are. You're not worried about um. How do I say this? Like you're not worried about what you're gonna get. But you are willing to take action, and you're willing to give your energy. Which is nice. Like you're not worried about what you're going to get. Uh, I feel like you know what that means. I feel like that means you don't have any real expectations really. Uh, now when it comes to this connection. So you, you really don't have any expectations. I feel like you're just going with the flow. But with this sun card coming out. Makes me feel like you're You're happy. You're you're happy with either way that this goes. Like you're happy being on your own. You're happy if you get into this relationship with this person. You're just happy, okay? So that's what I'm getting. You're just, you're happy. You're content with your life. You're content with where you are in your life right now. So you're not stressing out. You're not pushing. You're you're going with the flow, okay? Especially with the devil coming out in reverse. It just makes me feel like you're just going with the flow of things. You're a happy-go-lucky type of person right now. You know, you're not going to push. You're not going to try to play any mind games. You know, you just you feel like that's beneath you. You're not going to uh, try to do any kind of um, seducing to push this person in a direction that they don't want to go into. Hmm. That's what I'm getting. You might be in the process of like uh, getting out of a very dark state, state of mind. Like maybe recently you've gone through some depression or something. And now you're finally regaining your energy and you're ready for a positive change in your life. And I feel like you do have a positive change coming. Okay, especially with the sun card. Kind of makes me feel like you have a... Uh, some kind of blessing that's around the corner and you might be aware of it like you might know there's a there's a blessing coming around so you're already happy because you know it's coming around the corner right all right let's see what else is going on with this water sign the cancer pisces or scorpio spirit can we get any more information about this person their intentions toward aries is there anything else here that we need to find out anything else that we need Anything else we missed here? Okay. Something wanted to flip. Five of Wands in reverse. It seems like there's going to be a period of calmness between the two of you. I think nice and slow is a good way to go. Ooh, that rhymes. Nice and slow is a good way to go. I like that. Okay. Most definitely. Okay, so. Yes. Okay, so I'm looking at the Five of Wands, but it's in the reverse. The Two of Pentacles. 
the Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor, the King of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Aries, if you go slow with this person, allow this person to go ahead and do their shadow work. And while you are working on what you got going on over here, possibly, you know, getting rid of any kind of addictions that you've had or anything like that, right? Um... It does look like this person's energy is going to come back around and I feel like they're going to surprise you. Yes, especially with the two of pentacles. It looks like there's going to be some form of stability. Okay. It looks like this person, after they have done with this shadow work that they're working on, it looks like this person is ready. They're going to be ready. They're getting ready and they're going to be ready to have a relationship. They are going to be ready to put the effort and the work in, into this connection and not just that but it looks like this person is ready to you know make the decisions you know make some decisions here boss up make things happen okay like make things happen i feel like this person is uh gonna be ready to woo you they're gonna be ready to romance you they're gonna be ready to wine and dine you they're gonna be ready to celebrate together with you and work on this and filling these cups up so I feel like this person is going to be ready to get emotional with you and open up to you I do feel here with the Sun card I do feel like you are ready to open up toward this person right um, so basically what I'm seeing here is if you be if you're patient with this person you're going to have a very good positive outcome from this relationship mm-hmm this person's going to make a turnaround. So let this person do their shadow work. And they're going to turn around and surprise you. It looks like things are going to be really good. Very stable. Uh, it does look like this person is going to have to. Or you. Or maybe the both of you. Might have to go through a period where you're going to have to learn how to balance things out. Possibly between your personal life and this relationship. Maybe you have kids. Maybe they have kids. Or maybe it's with y'all's, the both of you, or careers, right? Something like that. There's going to be some kind of juggling here between the two of you. But with the work, the workload, it's going to be worth it to balance things out between the two of you. It's going to be worth it. Actually, y'all are going to make a nice couple, okay? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Sorry, I've been sneezing all day, coughing and sneezing. Ooh. Oh, Aries, it does look like y'all are going to make a very nice couple. You might have water in your chart, okay? Specifically cancer in your chart. And that's what I have for you guys. Okay. Thank you for joining me. I do hope I said something that was helpful here between you and this water sign. And uh, catch me in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.